Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Dots. Today I'm going to be talking about how to manipulate strings in R uh, using the Stringer package. Uh, this tutorial assumes that you've got a basic understanding of how R works. Uh, so to begin, if you've not got the Stringer package installed, you can go to Packages, click on Install, and type stringer r and you install that package click on install that should install it once that's installed i will scroll down to my stringer package and i will enable it so my stringer module has been installed first thing let's take a quick look at uh, the documentation for stringer to do that type of question mark stringer press enter and what you realize is here we've got package stringed version this if i click an index that should show us a list of help pages for the stringer uh, package it's a list of functions that you can work with stringer over c string conversion count detect duplicate extract extractor in this tutorial i will be going through some of these functions which I think I use regularly uh, the first one is let's work with the string to lower string to title and string to upper um, so for example let's create a vector call it words and then we assign C Apple okay and say bananas and let's convert these words into uppercase so if i type string underscore uppercase to upper and i pass in these vectors words that should return apple in capital letter if we want to do that for uh, lowercase or back to title say so type stringer underscore two title so the first um, letter in every word will be capital and I pass in words and that is what you get and for lower stringer to lower and I pass in words so you might say but where do I use um, things like this so for example I'm using this data set here uh, which is the primary result for um, the US election, which I downloaded from Kaggle. Uh, if you go on Kaggle, click on data sets. If you want to follow, you can download 2016 US election, which is what I have installed here, or I've um, imported here. So I'm going to convert, say, for example, the states field um, column into capital letters. So if I call on primary results, and um, states and I say string to upper let's convert all states to capital letter and I say primaries results and again states and what we have here now is all my states are in capital letter if I want to return it back to it being um, title to title if I go back here and title and again, we've changed that back to um, the string being a full case for the first letter. Right, the next um, thing we're going to look at is um, the string detect. Um, this one, which is one of the ones I used mostly. Um, so what we could do is, if we say something like we've got we use the same vectors which we created here called words and we will say something like string underscore detect it accepts two variables our parameters string and pattern so our words is a vector and what pattern are we looking for we can say we want um, a's so where there's a um, return it true or a false so if I put in A, Apple should return true, Pierre should return true, and Banana should return true. If I press enter, the three of them return true. 
If I go there again and this time I put in R, it should be false, true, and true. Since apple has got no R, pear has got an R, and bananas has got no R. So if I type in R and return enter, I've got false, true, and false. Other areas where you can use string detect is um, say, for example, we're trying to uh, get all the rows um, where we've got um, Hillary Clinton, for example, in the, as the candidates. What I can do is I will make use of the dplyr module to help me with this. So I'll enable the dplyr module, which is up here. And I'm going to be using the filter function. So I'm going to say result equals to, and I'm using the primary result data set again, or the data frame, and say primary results um, percentage, that percentage. And I'm going to say filter, um, we want candidates. And say string underscore detects, and we're looking for Hillary. Ah, right, I made a mistake. So if I say res again and filter, I do not need a candidate there. I say here, if I call it, um, what's that again? Primary. Results dollar and I want candidates. So this is the string you're trying to detect from, and this is the pattern we're looking for. If I press enter, now we should have a result of 4205 objects um, with Hillary. So if I click on that, it would return um, all rules um, with Hillary Clinton as the candidate. Um, you can either double click on that or just type view, pass that in there, and you would see that. Uh, so, this is how to use the string on that detect uh, function in the stringer uh, package. Uh, another function we'll be looking at is the string underscore counts. So, if I type string underscore counts, uh, counts, and pass in the words uh, vector what you find is it would count every character in this uh, vector in, in each word in the vector so if i press enter in apple we've got five words pair four words bananas six words and that returns five four six how about if i type a sentence so i say something like um long string is equal to um today is Wednesday and it is 9 p.m. And if I say string underscore counts and long string that returns 32 characters. How about if I want a case where I want to just count how many words uh, in this string, what do we do? So if we type string underscore count again, count, it accepts two uh, parameters. If I pass in long string, and what I can do is say um, boundary, and I want words. So if I type in word and press enter, it tells us there are seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about if we want to count sentences, what do we do? We would say sentence. And what we've got is one sentence, which is that one. The other thing we can do with string underscore count is say, for example, we uh, uh, the string contains a paragraph, we can count how many line breaks there are. So if I do this and say line break, it's just zero. So what we could do is let, let's, let's create a new variable 
uh, say we call it um, line break string and let's pass in say open brackets I'm just going to type in some gibberish or I delete that line and just so I can go to the next line and then continue again and close that delete that I've created um, a string with two lines which so it's got one line break so let's do the string underscore count now and this time we pass in line break string comma and boundary and we want line underscore break this should return one and there we go so one line break and that return starts and so that's how to use the string underscore count uh, function one of functions in the string up package is the duplicate string which you probably never have to use um, let's use the same vector we had before which is words and let's try and duplicate some of these strings so if we type string underscore duplicates and I pass in our words and I say I want to duplicate two times so if I type two and that should duplicate apple apple pear pear and banana banana um, other functions that we can use is um, something called string underscore order or if we wanted to sort uh, this string so what we could do is let us sort um, what we've got here which is where's words again want to sort this in um, order so if I type in string underscore order to first decide what order it should be in open brackets and I pass in words words I believe words and it tells us it is one three two because apple comes first banana second and pear third how about if we want to return say something like string underscore sort and I pass in words again and that would return apple banana and pear um, so if you want to find out more about um, the string stringer package in R simply just start string stringer R Press enter, click an index, and you can play with some of these functions here again. Uh, so this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll see you in the next lesson.